In 1907, archaeologist José García Payón surveyed a remote hilltop in southern Mexico known locally as Cerro del Cielo, the Hill of the Sky. At its summit stood a ring of carved basalt pillars arranged in a near-perfect circle. At first, the site was catalogued as a ceremonial platform of the pre-classic era. Only decades later did researchers realize they were looking at something far more precise. Each pillar cast a shadow that aligned with specific solar and lunar positions, forming an ancient observatory older than many Maya cities. When astronomers reconstructed the alignments, they made an astonishing discovery. The pillars marked not just solstices and equinoxes, but the lunar standstill cycle, a phenomenon occurring only once every 18.6 years. Understanding it requires years of continuous observation, yet the layout proved the builders had mastered it. But one alignment defied explanation. A narrow sight line formed by two eastern pillars pointed to a celestial event that should have been impossible for its time. A solar eclipse recorded on a date when no eclipse was visible anywhere in Mesoamerica, according to modern NASA calculations. The anomaly puzzled researchers until they examined weathering on the stone. The pillars had been moved twice, subtle shifts preserved as abrasion marks. When the original configuration was digitally restored, the sightline pointed instead to an eclipse that was visible in the region, but nearly a century earlier than the settlement's accepted founding date. Either the observatory was older than previously believed, or its designers preserved astronomical knowledge inherited from a vanished tradition. Nearby pottery and carbon-dated charcoal place activity at Cerro del Cielo as early as 800 BCE, centuries before the rise of the major Maya observatories like Huachuctún. Yet the hilltop ring incorporates calculations considered advanced even in the Classic period. Its builders recorded the oscillation of the moon, tracked eclipse seasons, and preserved a memory of a rare solar event they could not have witnessed themselves. Some scholars argue this was cultural inheritance, astronomy passed down orally across generations. Others note that the precision suggests a direct observational record, now lost with the disappearance of early Mesoamerican cultures. Perhaps the observatory did not predict an impossible eclipse. Perhaps it remembered one, long after its witnesses were gone. Hi, it's Chini. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe to get notified when a new story drops. It's also the best way to support our channel.